In an effort to ensure a consistent supply of produce throughout the year, the Department of Agriculture, St. Lucia Marketing Board and the Taiwan Technical Mission has entered into a contractual agreement with a core of farmers. This comes on the heels of a six-month contract commissioned last year, where 20 farmers were scheduled to supply a variety of crops as part of a trial program. A total of 30 farmers have been contracted under the arrangement signed on Wednesday. According to the chairman of the St. Lucia Marketing Board, Emmanuel Clary, this new purchase agreement aims to deepen relationships between the St. Lucia Marketing Board and local farmers, resulting in a more effective food marketing plan. And I believe that if we continue this trend, um, if all the, we, the, the hope of the marketing board uh, basically is to ensure that we have as many of our farmers participating in, in programs like that or, or deal, working with the marketing board rather than having to be all over St. Lucia looking for, for, for market. It's the hope of the marketing board that maybe 80-90% um, of our farmers would have this kind of arrangements with the marketing board, which makes it a lot easier, not only for the farmers, because you have one stop where you can bring in your produce, but also the consumers, because we would be in a position to process these this, this crops and make it a product that is probably superior to what is available on the, on the market. The seven crops targeted under the enhancement of the efficiency of production distribution supply chain in the fruits and vegetable sector project, commonly known as the seven crops project, would be among the crops expected to be supplied by farmers. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Cheyenne Chen, commended all stakeholders on their efforts to ensure the success of the seven crops project. The first ever United Nations Food System Summit will be held in September this year. And I believe the Seven Cross Project is not only a direct response to the theme of the summit, a just and resilient world that no one is left behind, but also set a course to make real changes. Uh, Taiwan will continue to work with the government of St. Lucia to advance agricultural technology, promote a thriving agric agricultural economy, and achieve the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The Ministry of Agriculture continues to underline its commitment to supporting agricultural stakeholders and ensuring a thriving economy. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am